Hi, this is Peter the Clairvoyant here, and I'm looking at astrology sign for the month of September 2017, Cancerians. And here we've got your star sign, the Chariot. And I just get the feeling, for some reason, September, you, you, you seem to be feeling a little bit stronger than you have done all year. So it's almost like it feels like you're a bit fired up, but you've got to be careful that this strength doesn't turn into a bit of stubbornness. I feel a st bit of stubbornness don't do any, don't do you any harm, but just make sure you don't over, you know, do that a little bit, as otherwise you could start annoying people a little bit, or you get wound up a little bit. So yes, push things forward. Yes, stand your ground. Yes, get on with things. Yes, be a bit determined, but just make sure you don't come across in too kind of a negative way because I'm kind of liking the energy around you at the moment I feel as though kind of the rest of the, the months in the year it's like I don't know it's like I feel as though you've not been quite yourselves it's like I just feel so you've been a sort of not quite at the energy mind's not been the right place it's been feeling a bit like that but all of a sudden it's like whoa wake up call cancerians are back and I feel as though it's great but then it's like, I just feel as though it's like you're making up for the rest of the, the months gone by and it's all come woof in one month and it's like, whoa, I've got this strength and it might just overpower everybody. So, and, I, and I'm just being drawn to the strength here because you've got the strong arm here and it's like you, you've got your sword straight up and you're feeling a bit stubborn about things and, and I just feel as though, like I say, it's okay, I like it, but just be careful the way you come across especially when you're connecting with people but dealing with jobs or frustrations or anything that's been not dealt with great yes use that energy but just be careful when you're connecting with people and i feel like you're feeling less bored and less fed up with things so it's like i've got you feeling a bit motivated and i just feel so still keep looking after yourselves a little bit looking after your health a little bit especially your mental health and i feel as once you do that that kind of keeps you moving forward and i just feel so then it's like it feels like you're on the right path getting where you need to be so that's quite positive but i just feel so now there's so much hope for the future it's like it feels like you're getting back in the swing with things and it feels like it's all about fresh starts and new beginnings. But I do feel so for some concerns, especially in the female energy, do watch out now because I feel so it's almost like you're bouncing back and I feel like you're almost ready for love in your life if you've been single and I just feel so it's nice and I feel so you could be quite surprised where that love comes from. But I just feel that so the love comes from a very powerful source but you've got to make sure that you're ready for it. In other words, what I mean by that is I feel so you could be connecting with somebody who's got a bit of, bit of fire, a bit of energy within them and quite passionate for life in some ways. And and I just feel so they might just run circles around you a little bit. So I'm not saying don't connect with them. I'm just saying be ready for it because it's like you've been in the doldrums for too long and all of a sudden it's like, whoa, it's like 100 mile an hour down the M6. And you might just think, whoa, oh, can't deal with this, can't cope with it. But I feel like you can tap into that strength, tap into that stubbornness that I'm seeing with you. And I just feel like that will get you there. I feel like there's been a lack of communication with family. And, and I feel like you've got things to say. That could be a good way of sort of tapping into that stubbornness with you. Sort of standing up for yourself a little bit and don't let family put upon you. So communicate your thoughts. Don't be frightened to say what you feel. And I just feel as though, you know, just generally now, right across the board, it's about putting the energy into things, making things right, putting things in order, and focusing now where you're kind of going really for next year. Because it's almost like it feels like this year's been a bit of a tidying up year. It's not been a bad year, but it's been a year where you're just kind of plodding along. And you're still kind of plodding along to a little bit, even throughout this year. But I do feel as though now, you're ready to start to look to the future. You're ready to start to make things happen. And you've got to embrace it. And you've got to be ready for it, Cancerians. Whether you're female, male, single, not single. I feel this goes right across the board. So it's like a strength's picking up, energy's picking up. It's all there. So we've got to be ready. We've got to be all fired up. And it's it's almost like it just feels, oh, I want your picture like the old home. Sitting out your parents where with the coal fires, they've got to get it stoked up a little bit, get the get the engines burning a little bit in the background, get the boiler going. 
and, and that's how I'm feeling. It's a bit weird why I'm talking a bit old fashioned. Some of you might be feeling a bit old fashioned, you know, when you weigh a little bit. And I don't knock that. A bit of old fashionedness isn't bad, especially when it comes to romance. You know, make sure you're being wooed a little bit or you're wooing your partner. I feel as though it's all good. Love and light and makes the world go round. So see where that kind of comes in. So I'm, I'm actually sort of starting off where I just feel as though, you know, it's not been good. Your strength's coming back, but I'm starting to feel a bit more positive for you. I'm starting to like the energy coming around you. And I feel as though this energy now has been start building up now for the next 18 months or more. And I feel like you, you're coming into a period where I just feel as though everything's going to start happening. It's, it's almost like I feel as though I won't go back over the last three years where I just feel as though, I don't know. It's, it's not been bad, but it's not been good. It's like you haven't had the motivation. But I just feel as though all of a sudden that three-year period is coming to an end. And I feel as though it comes to an end now. So let me add it up. 2018 next year. So 1 and 8 is 9. And then you've got your... your so 1 and 8 is 9. And then you've got your 2. So that's 11. Add the 1 and 1 up and it comes to a 2. So it's, it's next year's a year of balance, getting things right, tidying things up a little bit. So I, I just feel as though, you see, if you, you look at this year, you add it up and it, and it comes to a 10. And 10's all about endings and you're coming to an end of the cycle this year. And you have the one in all top and it comes to a 1. And that's all about your new beginnings. So you're gearing up to those new beginnings now. And it feels like you're in this sort of middle of it all. The endings and the new beginnings. It's like what's coming first. And it's like how it's all sort of panning out. But next year you're going to balance it all out. So I just feel so just wait and see. It's coming together. So just keep doing what you're doing. I feel so you, you're going to start picking up. And I do feel so again. If you're single. Love could be coming from a surprising source. And I just feel so. You might think, do I accept it? Don't accept it? There could be ties with it. There could not be ties with it. But I do feel as when that love comes. Mm. Feels like it's true love. Wait and see.